Hello again. Another day, another thousand young foreigners pitch up in this country wanting somewhere to live. On Saturday, 34 boatloads of foreigners arrived in this country wanting homes here. The reception centres in Kent are so overcrowded that they are seeing outbreaks of diphtheria and scabies and even the owners of hotels now throughout the country are beginning to show reluctance to hand them over to the Home Office to house illegal immigrants. Where on earth are we going to put them all? The government are treating this as an emergency and they're now offering via the intermediary com uh, company Serco contracts for ordinary people who are prepared to house a few illegal immigrants in their homes. Care homes too are being approached and asked if they will rent out empty rooms so that young foreigners have somewhere to live. The government will pay rent and all utility bills, of course. Heaven forbid that an asylum seeker should have to pay for his gas and electricity like the rest of us. I'll give a link to a bit about this in the description to this video. The thing that some people might find infuriating about this is the way in which it is now being treated as an emergency, one which requires urgent action by the government. There's been a growing housing crisis in Britain for years, with a dire shortage of social housing and young people unable to get on the housing ladder. This has never been regarded by the government as an emergency. After all, it only affected white British people. Now that it is foreigners who are in need of housing, suddenly everybody's sitting up and taking notice and there is general agreement that something must be done about the problem. The result is that a massive drive is underway to persuade people with second homes to rent them out to asylum seekers, for people who let accommodation to students to stop doing so and house asylum seekers instead. This is happening, of course, alongside preparations to receive tens of thousands more Ukrainian refugees as the winter sets in there and they are menaced with power cuts. There is still a demand for people to open up their homes to Ukrainian refugees and give them a spare room to live in. Why has homelessness in Britain never been treated with the same level of seriousness that is now being devoted to the problem of homeless foreigners who have turned up in this country uninvited? Would it not have been possible for the government to offer to pay the rents and fuel bills of British people who needed a home? Apparently not. It's only since the wave of asylum seekers grew so large that such projects have been launched. This problem affects the whole of Europe. An invasion is taking place. Switzerland is now snowed under by asylum seekers. I give a link to a piece about this in the description to this video. The same publication tells us that the population of the Netherlands is now almost 18 million, mainly due to immigration. In 1960 there were 11 million people in Holland. Now there are more than 50% more people there the increase being in young foreigners turning up in the country and trying their luck. Of course, all the policies and laws in both this country and all the other countries in Europe were none of them designed to cope with anything like this. The idea of free movement in Europe, for example, was predicated on the assumption that only Europeans would be moving freely. French people travelling to Germany, Dutch people visiting Italy and so on. Nobody envisaged countless hundreds of thousands of Africans and Asians converging on the continent and demanding to move about there and stay forever in other people's countries. African countries are not going to be able to produce enough food for their people in coming years. A population explosion is underway because of all the advances in medicine developed in Europe and America and provided to Africa. This excess population will simply head north. It's a matter of geopolitical logic. We are facing as great a crisis as when the Mongols invaded Europe in the 13th century or the forces of Ottoman Turkey in the 17th. Europe managed to fight off those invasions, but whether 
it will be possible to challenge that which now threatens us from Africa is another matter entirely.